So the breaking news is that Anthony Ferrer of the Timepiece Gentleman has been arrested and taken into custody by the FBI. Here's the headline from the U.S. Attorney's Office, Central District of California. Founder of Beverly Hills Gentleman Timepiece's consignment store charged with conning victims in luxury watch Ponzi type scheme. Some of you might be wondering why this is such a big deal to me, thinking that I'm just making these videos just for the views. I want you to know that I made my first Anthony Fair Timepiece Gentleman video on July 9th, 2021. That was about two and a half years ago. I'm not some Johnny come lately grifting for views. My video at the time was titled A Business Analysis of the Timepiece Gentleman. I made the video because I was an avid watcher of the channel, I was a big fan, and I always thought luxury watches were cool. Back then, let's call it Blackout 1.0, they appeared to essentially shut down their business overnight, shutting off their social media, vacating their retail office space, scratching their name off their door, and they stopped answering their phone. I thought for sure they pulled a runner, and I figured, you know what? I've got this new YouTube channel, let's liven it up with a video about this guy's business and talk about all the things I see wrong with it from a rational business person's point of view. The video went viral and blew up my channel. In hindsight, they were likely pulling scams back then. They probably ran out of Ponzi money, but got a last minute bailout from their investor. That's what I think happened. Let me know in the comments what you think really happened. As you probably know, they came back and called it a publicity stunt. No one with half a brain believed them. Fast forward to today, the jig is up. Justice surprisingly is moving swiftly in this case. Anthony Ferrer has been arrested by the FBI. IRS Criminal Investigation and the Beverly Hills Police Department are also investigating this matter. He's currently being held at the LA Metropolitan Detention Center without bail. Let's read some of this press release. Anthony Ferrer, also known as the Timepiece Gentleman, age 35, who until recently lived in downtown Los Angeles, was charged in a federal criminal complaint filed Monday with wire fraud, a felony that carries a statutory maximum sentence of 20 years in federal prison. Okay, all you guys who said this was a civil case and that he wouldn't get any jail time, you were all wrong, including you, Federico. They can always get you on wire fraud or mail fraud and possibly even tax fraud. Continuing on, Farrah, who also was known as the timepiece gentleman, was arrested without incident at a storage facility in Venice and was held in federal custody overnight. The complaint alleges that Farrah defrauded victims beginning in late 2022 until the summer of 2023 when he promised customers he would sell their luxury watches on consignment. Rather than remitting funds back to the customers, less the commission, he kept the proceeds for himself. Ferrer lived in a luxury rental property and was known to drive a Lamborghini and Ducati motorcycles. The complaint further alleges that Ferrer operated a scheme in a similar manner to a Ponzi scheme and would lull victims into a sense of security by engaging in smaller successful transactions prior to requesting or engaging in significantly larger transactions. Hmm. That's right, Ponzi scheme. I was one of the first people to call it a Ponzi scheme and I got a lot of flack for it. Now admittedly, it wasn't a straight up Ponzi scheme, but it clearly had strong Ponzi scheme elements. Let's continue. Multiple victims contacted law enforcement to report that they wired funds to Fair for the purchase of a watch or mailed him a watch to consign for sale, but were never paid for the watch or never received their watch back. To date, law enforcement estimates that victim losses currently total approximately $3 million. I wanted to make this video, I guess, to conclude the saga for the sake of my channel. I've covered it from the beginning and encourage you to check out my very first video on it, which is, in hindsight, really shows the questionable things going on in his business and how things didn't really add up or sometimes even make sense. I'll link that at the end. And let's not forget that Anthony Ferrer is innocent until proven guilty, but it's not looking good for him. And once the justice system has their meat hooks in you, they've got like a 90% conviction rate or something like that. I would be remiss not to talk about the involvement with IRS criminal investigations. To me, this is even bigger than wire fraud charges. So what could the IRS be looking into? The big one I think is tax evasion. I seriously doubt Anthony filed his business and personal tax returns recently. 
This is just a guess, but he has said on video that he doesn't pay taxes. Also, the IRS can go back as many years as they want to, especially if fraud is involved. So they could even go back to the days in Dallas with Marco and look at those for potential tax issues. Disguised wages. I made a video on this and it was a bit risky and controversial. I had no hard and fast facts, but from what I gathered from his videos, it appeared he had been paying his employees with gifts. Rolex watches, Jimmy, <laughs> excuse me, Corvette lease payments for Darby and paying their rent for their LA beachfront apartment. I made a really good video on that. You can check that out at the end. The IRS Criminal Investigations Division is responsible for investigating potential criminal activities, including tax fraud, tax evasion, money laundering, basically violations of the US tax code and related financial crimes. Investigations start with an examination of financial data and tax returns. If there's enough evidence of potential criminal activity, the case can be referred for prosecution. In this case, it seems prosecution is likely. Cases pursued by IRS criminal investigations can result in significant penalties, including fines and imprisonment. Please don't think I'm trying to kick a man while he's down. The truth is I've been covering this when he was on the top of the world and I've been covering it all the way down ever since. Listen, and a great big thank you to the guys over on Reddit, especially Icy Pie, who has his own YouTube channel, The Crime Piece. And he recently just uncovered the 21 page affidavit, which you can see right here. I'll link this in the comments if you wanna read it. It's really juicy and informative. Uh, filed in US District Court for the Central District of California, the United States of America versus Anthony Fair, AK the Timepiece Gentleman. Now that's a Netflix movie title for you. And a big shout out to Tony, AKA Lust, for keeping Anthony Fair and the Timepiece Gentleman front and center. Also, watch Nicholas for standing up to Anthony and exposing his tug life. And more recently, Cornelius Breen with his hilarious parody videos. And of course, Bob and Wesley, Bob on TikTok, who broke the news of Anthony's Ponzi scheme via recorded call, and Wesley, who spoke out on being defrauded on a million dollars of luxury watches. I'm proud to have been mentioned in the same sentence with those guys. Check it out. Wesley, Bob, you guys that I, you know, confided in and, and was opening up to, maybe what you don't recognize is the fact that you're not hurting me. Like I've said this before, I've been to prison. Right now, going to prison, going to jail, would be a break from what I'm dealing with on a daily basis. You wanna file lawsuits, file them. I've literally told you I have no money, so what are you gonna do, sue a broke person and get a judgment against me? Good luck. You guys are doing what you can to try and crush me and make me disappear. I'm here to let you know it ain't gonna fucking work. I ain't going anywhere. I don't care how hard you try or how much you push against me, I'm not gonna go anywhere. Wesley, this message is for you. You and Noel out there making videos, trying to add to the scam and all this shit. Like, fuck all you guys. Honestly, anyone out there, this is my last message to the haters. Any one of you out there that think you're gonna crush me or defeat me, fuck you. Anyway, thanks for indulging me and allowing me to reflect on this whole Timepiece Gentleman saga. It's been a wild ride. I like to think that I stand for honesty and integrity. There's a lot of lessons to be learned here. One of them is not to let yourself get seduced by charismatic personality types. I hear about it all the time, especially from some of my elderly clients. One that I'm thinking of got duped of over $200,000 from a financial person who scammed her. He gained her trust with his fancy clothes, nice car, good looks, and smooth talking. Sound familiar? What you see is not always what you get. If you liked the video, please do me a favor and hit the like button and consider subscribing to stay connected. Do check out my very first Timepiece Gentleman video that I made over two years ago up here. The quality is pretty bad, but the content is really good. And my other video on disguised wages that affects anyone who received gifts from Anthony like Darby and Liz. It's up here. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.